What's good family? Welcome back to the channel. I came across this video right here on my homepage. It's titled, She Got Encountered by the Holy Spirit at Impossible Kicks. And I decided I wanted to watch it with you guys, the family. So, just looking at the thumbnail, I had seen the thumbnail. And the lady in this video looked around my age, about like 19 to 24 years old. And it's just really amazing that we're able to see that the Holy Spirit is touching our generation. And not only that. It's like the spiritual coming into contact with the physical and merging together. It's just beautiful, y'all. Let's get straight into this and see what's going on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Wow. How did, how did this go down? Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm with... Sanaya. Sanaya. My name's Rich. This is Joel. So um, we're going to just ask the regular questions we always ask. Y'all already know what time it is. What do you think the purpose of life is? Uh, I feel like everybody serves a different purpose. I feel like there's no general purpose of life. I feel like, like me personally, my purpose might be to save the homeless. You might have to provide food in Africa. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's different purposes. Yeah. Where do you, where do you think our soul goes when we die? Uh, depending on how you were when you were alive. So heaven or hell. Oh, so you believe in heaven and hell? So do you believe in Jesus? Mm -hmm. I so you're, you're a Christian? That's cool, me too. Yeah. So when did you get saved? Um, I got saved when I was like 12, 11. Okay. And, and younger. were you filled with the Holy Spirit? I feel like, yeah, I was in church a lot. Like I was on like the praise dance team. Like I did, you know, stuff like that. Like I was very involved with church, but uh, yeah. Have you ever seen, a, have you ever had an actual tangible encounter with Jesus? Like a supernatural where you're like, whoa, like yeah. I just met God. Um, I wouldn't say it was like a whoa moment, but I did like have an encounter with him at church one time. Okay. And you felt, you felt prophet, something. Yeah. With the prophet, prophesied over you. Yes. And he said that you're, you, you're, you're going to be a prophetess. Um, he said that, um, my wisdom was beyond my years. He said that, um, it was a lot of personal stuff that he said. I never met him before, so that's how I knew like it was God. So, um, yeah, he said a lot of things that I didn't even know about myself till he said it. So, Yeah. Do you feel helpless sometimes? Yes. So I just heard the Spirit tell me you deal with helplessness. And you feel like you're, you're alone. Sometimes. Isolated. Like you like you by yourself. Yeah. So I will tell you this. The Lord wants to free you from that feeling because it's a demonic spirit. It comes in through our sin. So I was encountered by God a few years ago. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I was never raised in the church. I was in the dope game. I was deep in the voodoo. I was deep in the Santeria. I was a warlock. I was moving. I'm from Broward, so I was, but I was moving hundreds of pounds of weed around the. Know how Broward is. <laughs> that was my life. I'm, oh, I'm old, actually in Miami I'm, too. I'm before Kodak, like you know what I'm saying. So like I, I know his older brothers and all that. So I was just deep into this, the enemy's plans, and God encountered me. I studied Islam, Buddhism, voodoo, Santeria, all that. God delivered me, cast the demons out of me. I got a wife. I got a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Gave me a house. I'm actually a pastor now. I actually dressed like this to blend in so people would accept my interviews. I understand. And yeah. also to let people know it's not about religion. It's about relationship with God. I feel like the Lord brought us here to tell you that he misses you. You've been very distant. You've been very stuck on a man. And he don't want you, but you want him. Recently? Like, as of right now? The one before that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The one you want, the one you have now, you don't really love. I, I do. Not like the one before. You see? I, I think I do. It's a soul tie. It's the, it's, it, there's, there's, there's a spirit room, and there's angelic and demonic beings. And we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure we write <laughs> so that they don't, they don't manipulate our life. Cause you're called, you're called to prophesy like he is, like the prophet you met. You're really called and you look for that comfort in men. And it's like every guy, every time you go to another guy, it's like the same thing. You actually have, you come with the right love and the right heart, but they don't. And you wonder why. And you feel helpless and you feel isolated. And it's like a repeated cycle. It's a demonic operation against your life. The devil wants wow. to turn you out and turn you. So that's confirmation. Once you get turned out, there's a spirit called Jezebel. And once Jezebel comes in your life, say Wow, on. bro. Hold up, yo. Can we all just, yo, 
comment W in the comment section, bruh. Because this man right here is just on point. You could just tell his clarity and discernment for the spiritual world. And he just knows the operations of the devil, bruh. Like, he just sees it all. He's on point. Yo, W's in the comment section. Things will be turned around, right? You could turn around through it. Like, right now, I'm, I could pray for you. And you could, and all you got to do, and it, and it might be crazy. I know you got these guys here and all that. But it's repentance. It's change. Like, repentance is not just saying it. We have a church. And everyone's young. How old are you? Like 21? 18. 18. Oh, my goodness. 18. We got a whole church full of 18, 17, 21, 22. And they don't look like Christians. They look, they they come from all types of, like bro, they, they actually have drip. Like, they swag. Like, they actually, most of the people in our church shop, shop like, they're sneakerheads. They already got, out, like, you know what I'm saying? They tell me, don't, they tell me, pastor, don't shop here because they, they, they tax you. You know what I'm saying? The impossible kid. So, <laughs> what I'm saying is, you have a husband waiting for you. A true husband that's going to love you the way you love others. What the devil wants to do is wow. put you through so many different trials that you stop loving. Wow. By the same prophet. By the same prophet. That's the Holy Ghost telling me right now. I can hear it. I'm wow. actually seeing visions as I'm speaking to you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you right now. Come on. Let's go over here. So let it, bro, come over here. You, 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 you can let it go. Let's go, bro. You can let it go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yo. Come on, we're gonna pray for you. We're gonna get them demons out your life. <laughs> I was sent here, I'm gonna tell you something too. I can I can release it now. I am a prophet. I was sent by the Lord here strategically to talk to you. Yo! As soon as we walked over there, he said it too. It's her. We seen everybody in the store, but you were highlighted. The Lord had to send someone like me, look how I look, to talk to you so you'll get it through your head. You got to change. Okay? I'm going to pray for you now. Yo. Right here. It's perfect. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now against every demonic spirit. I command every spirit of depression and witchcraft to come off of her mind right now. In the name of Jesus, every Jezebelic operation breaks right now by the blood of Jesus. I pray right now, Father God, you give her peace and love. I break every soul tie over her life by the blood of Jesus. Lord, she's called to be a leader in this remnant, this last hour. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, you fill her with your love right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every chain breaks right now in this store at her job. Lord, you sent us here strategically for your daughter. Thank you, Jesus. She's going to be saved, have a husband, have a, a real life before she has children, before she makes that mistake. Wow. Have you? You haven't had an abortion? Okay. The enemy's plan is to get you to do that. This is this there's there's a whole there's a there's a whole hit on your head because of the gift. Because you're you're actually called to, like I seen a whole I I seen a whole vision of you going to an abortion clinic. Has that happened? But I see you're thinking about it now. I'm not pregnant though, but I, I thought I was, and I was thinking about it. That's what I seen, and the Lord was telling me He spared you. But he, wow. the minute you do that, wow. you're actually gonna allow. You're giving the right to a demonic spirit to enter you fully. You're not fully on Jezebel. Like she hasn't fully got a grip of you. She's trying to build into you, or get into you. It's a witch. The abortion clinics are whole demonic temples. They got principalities over them. I've seen it with my own eyes and the spirit. You have to change. You have to cut this guy off. You have to cut this guy off. And you need your husband is literally waiting for you. You're a worshiper. You come to our church, you'll be on the worship team. You'll be, you'll have, bro, if you've seen the sister, that you've seen the, the people in our church, the women, the girls, like, just like you, beautiful. Makeup, they don't, they're not lame. Like, got swag and everything. Do you want to do that? I'm going to give you my Instagram. I don't blow people up. You hit me up if you want to come. We actually got service tomorrow. We're a non-denominational church. The church we go to, they have their service on Sundays. We just have ours on Saturdays to be renting. Oh, you. How do you feel right now? It's crazy. <laughs> God is good, right? So what did you just say? I've been following you. For real? One of your friends, I talked to them? I think so. I don't. I don't remember who it was, but I remember somebody telling me about you. I'm not sure. That's not coincidence. And then I get sent in here to talk to you. <laughs> I 
Jesus loves you. That's how much he loves you. He's never going to stop trying to pull you in. But the farther you get away from, the more the devil has a right over you. You don't want that. There's too many women out here, baby mama, baby, depressed, suicidal, want to kill themselves. People killing themselves every day. Suicides at a high rate. It's a demonic spirit. You know that. So you ready to give up and give your life to Christ? For real? All right, just say this. Say, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you're the Son of God. I believe in the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross and rose on the third day. I believe you died on the cross and rose on the third day. See, I confess all my sin. I confess all my sin. And I know I'm forgiven. I know I'm forgiven. I need help. I need help. Holy Spirit, come in my life. Holy Spirit, come in my life. And strengthen me. And strengthen me. And guide me. And guide me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now the next step is coming to our church and getting baptized. You're going to feel a fire come in. When you come in, you, you come to the church, you're going to feel a, a power of the Holy Spirit. You're going you're gonna to have the ability to not do this stuff no more. The world ain't got nothing for you. You know that. That's why you feel helpless, isolated. God's not going to let you go. You don't want to have to fall very bad in order to get there. You see the baby mamas that have four kids, a whole bunch of relationships, go to church, all broke. They have, there's consequences with actions, regardless if you saved or not. You see what I'm saying? Catch it early so you can have blessings for the future. Yeah. I wish I caught it early. I'm 32. This is for all those girls, out, women out there, young women. Y'all see my wife? My wife's uh, she's my wife's Haitian from New York. She had to go through a lot, but abortions, all that. Me too. Yeah. Are you Haitian? Jamaican, for sure. Y'all see what happened? I encountered her boyfriend at a hibbit months ago. Prayed for him. He was crying behind the register. Her ex-boyfriend, I'm sorry. She just got encountered. Now her new boyfriend just walked up. Crazy. They're gonna come to the church. I don't know what you gonna what the Holy Ghost is gonna do. Holy Spirit have your way. But God is real. Miracles. Yo! My fuck is screaming all up in the mic. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Snap! Yo! Yo! Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Yo, if it don't get more real and authentic, yo, come on now. You feel me? Like, come on now. It's not about how you dress. It's about Jesus. It's not about what denomination. It's about Jesus. Yo. This man. The Holy Spirit was really working right here. You feel what I'm saying? And the reason why though. The reason why the Spirit was working. Is because he allowed the Spirit to work. I believe that if we all just allow the Spirit to work in our life. The Spirit will work. You feel what I'm saying? The Spirit will be there. We just have to allow that joint. Bro. This was just an amazing video. Very heartfelt video. He didn't even know her, but you were just able to see. Y'all saw one down, y'all. W's in the comment section down below. That's a W right there. That's a huge W for God, for Jesus. That's a huge W. Comment that down below, guys. Make sure you do like the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to catch when I post another one for you guys. Alright, I love you guys, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.